Good morning, it's 11.30 a.m. and I'm going to take a road trip today in my Tesla Model 3 2025 edition. Just finished charging to 100%, which is critical for any road trip. I'm going to Pirate's Cove down in Boulder City, Nevada. I'm getting to charge a couple times. I'm really anxious to do this trip though because I have a longer battery range now. Curious how uh, much of an impact that has just in terms of, of less charging time. And then I also paid for a month of full self-driving. So the first full self-driving Tesla road trip. How easy is it? How much of a difference does it make on a longer trip? Because I've done this trip before, but only on regular autopilot, not full self-driving. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna take you along the way. And I'll, at, at the end, I'll give you my review on if it was worth it to pay that $100, is it worth it to pay for it outright, and how much of a difference it made. So let's rock and roll, baby. Something I love about a recent, I don't know how recent, but a fairly recent update to full self-driving supervised is the ability for the in-cabin camera to monitor your eyes and make sure you're looking at the road because if you are and that is available sometimes it's not depending on the sunglasses but if it is it allows you to use your hands and as you can see here I'm enjoying some in and out on my way down to Nevada I just think that's a really nice quality of life update to be able to use your hands in some cases if you are truly paying attention to the road I've been on the road for two and a half hours. I'm approaching Bieber, and this is a significant moment for me as a, as a Tesla road tripper. I've had a Tesla now for over six years. I've done this stretch of I-15 between Salt Lake City and St. George, Utah a handful of times, and I always have to stop here in Bieber, Utah. Except for today, baby, let's go! I've got 139 miles of range left in the battery. I am going to breeze right on by Beaver and head down to Cedar City to charge, which it has its pros and cons. When I get to Cedar City, I'll show you what it's like. There's not anywhere to eat. I'm actually kind of worried about going to the bathroom, but it's not going to be as crowded as Beaver. So. I like that, and I like that I can go a little bit further, drain the battery a little bit more, because the lower the battery is, the faster it's gonna recharge at a supercharger. As it gets more full, the speed slows down. So you wanna push this as far as you can. I could probably push it to St. George if I wanted to get crazy, but I'll stop in Cedar City. But I gotta tell you guys, it feels so good, yes, to skip Beaver, Utah. I have a video on my channel from a couple years ago where I, I got here on literal single digit miles left in the battery. And to have 138 left with only 62 miles to go to Cedar City, it's a beautiful thing. I made it to the Cedar City Supercharger, and it's, a, it's at a big Sinclair gas station, so I thought there was nothing here. There's obviously something here. Charging currently be about 20 to 25 minutes. I rolled in with 73 miles to go, so comfortably got here. And I actually really enjoy a Tesla road trip i like being forced to get out of the car it's not always about speed and it doesn't take as long as you would think especially with uh, the v3 superchargers that are out there that get up to 250 kilowatts an hour i like walking around this is cedar city utah the scenery there's the gas station great scenery it's just nice to stretch the legs i'm going to go to the bathroom and then go back to the car, maybe read some emails, send some texts, and 
be on my way to Las Vegas. So this extra range, I gotta tell you, it's making a much bigger difference than I thought, not having to stop in Beaver, but being able to come right here to Cedar City and then I, I don't have to stop in St. George or Mesquite, go right to Vegas and charge again. I'm loving it. I'm having a great time. It's been, it's been fantastic. We've got six minutes to go. I've actually come to uh, enjoy these, as I was saying. Um, I'm just hanging out, surfing some emails. Went to the bathroom. I'm up to 189 miles. So I've already added 116 miles. Once I'm done, we'll figure out exactly how much it cost. But it's not bad. Like, I, I feel like there's this negative connotation with Tesla road trips and being at a supercharger and yet it can get bad if you have to wait to charge that's not ideal that's additional time but there's so many chargers these days just since I've owned a Tesla in these six years two or three X the number of supercharging stations there used to be even three years ago a lot of options it spreads out the volume and it's really not that big of a deal I, I actually kind of prefer it at this stage of, uh, of my life, just a little slower, but it's enjoyable. And uh, it, it takes a little bit of the edge off the road trip. There's not this constant rush. We've got five minutes to go. I'll, I'll make these five minutes productive and then we'll get back on the road. That's weird. I don't know why we're doing that. I better take over. That's not the exit. All right. That cost me $13.69, and it was 18 minutes at the supercharger. Now we're gonna get back on I-15 and go to Las Vegas. I made it to Vegas. It is hot. It's uh, over 110 degrees. I don't technically need to charge here, but I don't know what the charging situation is going to be at this. I don't know. Where's the Pirates Cove? Is it's like sort of an Airbnb, sort of a. I don't know. It's a big resort. It looks cool. I, I just don't know what the charging situation is. So in situations like this, I like to get a little extra juice to float me just in case. So I'll probably charge here for 10 minutes, get to like 50% charge, and then head on down. And also, I'm at the North Vegas Premium Outlet, so I wanna see if there's any irresistible deals and maybe get a shake and shake jack or something. So, charge for a little bit, and then uh, the final destination is right around the corner. I made it to Pirate's Cove here in Boulder City. It was a great road trip. No complaints. I mean, it probably took an additional 30 minutes. Eh, well, you would have had to fill up at some point. So let's say that takes five minutes to go to the bathroom. Maybe an extra 25 minutes in a Tesla versus gasoline vehicle but I think it was worth it it's great I'm here at the place I am charging which is great 
and I have a lot of thoughts. Let me get settled and I'll give you my final review on a Tesla road trip with FSD. Final review on full self driving for a road trip. A plus. I can't begin to describe how much more uh, relaxing it was. It wasn't stressful. You weren't death gripping it on the steering wheel. That doesn't mean you can't pay attention. You obviously pay attention, but you can slouch. You can relax a little bit. There, there are times where I needed to grab something out of the backpack and I was able to do that and not worry about crashing or someone flying into me or, or missing something on the road coming down the, coming down the way. I also think too, uh, you just can't put a price on, on, on the safety element. It did such a really nice job of navigating certain situations that I didn't know that it could. Like there was a couple times police had pulled people over, it got into the fast lane, then moved back over. If someone was going super fast behind me and I was in the fast lane, it would move over to let them pass. Didn't know that it was gonna be capable of doing that, so that was super impressive. And then I, I think just the biggest thing taking the driver fatigue away where your eyes aren't straining you're so heavily focused on on the task at hand and being safe being able to relax a little bit in that sense just made it such an easier and smoother drive so a plus um i don't regret paying the hundred dollars for this is it worth eight thousand dollars i think that it is if you can't afford that i wouldn't say it's a deal breaker in terms of buying a tesla but I'm gonna have to think long and hard about paying for it. it. It just depends on how much road tripping you do. Around town, it's nice and it's cool, it's not necessary, but on a road trip, it made a huge difference. So, hope that was helpful, hope you enjoyed the video, and now I'm going to enjoy swashbuckling here in Pirate's Cove. Take care, and as always, uh, be safe.